So in this video, we're going to prove property five of dot products in R3, and that was the property that said that if we take the dot product of a vector with itself, that we get the square of the size of the vector. So similar to the last video, you look at the thing that you're trying to prove and you see what you need. In this case, I need a, ve a single vector V, and I'm gonna do this proof specifically for R3, and in the homework you're going to do it for Rn. So I see that I need a single vector, so I'm, if I'm doing the proof for R3, I'm going to say let V be an element of R3, so an, a three component vector. Then I'm actually going to take the dot product on the left and show that I can manipulate it into this form. So then I take V dotted with V and in R3, these are, this is a three component vector, so I'm really taking V sub one, V sub two, V sub three, and I'm dotting it with itself. So V sub one, comma, V sub two, comma, V sub three. And now you just apply the definition of the dot product, which says take the sum of the products of corresponding elements. So I get V sub one times V sub one, plus v sub two times v sub two, v sub two times v sub two, plus v sub three times v sub three. These are real numbers, so this is really just v sub one squared plus v sub two squared plus v sub three squared. And I wanna show that this is equal to the, the square of the length of the vector or the size of the vector. So what we wanna remember, so I'll put it off to the side here. If we have a vector V in R3, V sub one, V sub two, V sub three, we calculate the size or the length of that vector by taking the square root of the sum of the squares of the vector components. So this was something that we looked at and defined in uh, the previous two homework assignments. So this would be V sub three squared. So what we see here is we have almost what we need. We just need to manipulate this a little bit. So what we wanna recognize is that if we had the length of the vector sitting here, V sub one squared plus V sub two squared plus v sub three squared, this would be the length of vector v. To get the line that came right before it right here, we would need to take this and square it to eliminate the square root. So then what we wanna recognize is that the stuff under this, uh, the stuff that's getting squared is just the length of the vector. So I need vector v, the size of vector v being squared, which is what we needed to show.